Howdy y'all and welcome to Yellow Texas, your go-to guide for all things Texas right here in the Lone Star State. I'm your host Stacy, and on today's episode, we're dedicating this one to the Texas Hill Country. Plus, we'll have a nice little surprise for you at the end. But first, we're visiting a family-owned distillery that's been making their spirits with two very unlikely ingredients. Can you guess what they are? Well, let's find out as we make our way to Comfort, Texas, home of Hill Country Distillers. Comfort, Texas, located in the beautiful Texas Hill Country and home to, well, Hill Country Distillers, a unique and growing distillery owned by husband and wife team, John and Casey Kovacs. John, you are the owner here, but uh, I wanna know, how long have y'all been open and uh, how has the industry grown since y'all have been? The industry is exploding. When we got our license in 2014, I think we were probably about number 34. There's approaching 100 distilleries in Texas now. Wow. We have some really unique attributes, and I think our distillery really showcases some of the uniqueness. What we do is very different than what anyone else is doing. Our main product that we make most of our alcohol from is a prickly pear cactus pad. There can't be anything more Texas than that. <laughs> our only <laughs> other base ingredient is a jalapeno pepper. Yeah. Again, how Texas yeah. is that? <laughs> well, thank you so much, John. Uh, can't wait to get in the back there. You ready to go? Absolutely. You'll go see some things you've never seen before. So this is the distillery. This is where all the magic happens. Perfect. It's a very small place, but you'd be surprised how much stuff we get done right inside here. Wonderful. Okay, and so this is the first not fun job that we have. <laughs> this is James Stout, our head distiller, and this is his First bad job of the day, <laughs> chopping up the cactus that they just went out and harvested at the ranches around here. Oh my goodness. And this is literally the entire process. It's all it does is chop it into slices and throw it in the bucket. And he will do about 100 pounds of cactus per batch. Oh my goodness, watch so out. It's a whole lot of chopping. The reason he wears the crazy suit and glasses is those needles will fly off. Sometimes you'll see him, he's got one sticking out of the side of his head. <laughs> uh, and we don't give him hazardous duty pay at all, none. <laughs> Would you like to try this? I would. Let's do this. I got, got some nice. You're definitely going to want these. Okay. All right. Thank you. Chivalry's not dead here. Just yes. my size. Oh, put it on. Would Come you on. dare let me? <laughs> How cool do I look? All right. Now you got, now you're, you're in uniform I'm ready. Now. I'm ready. Oh. Hard. Oh, sorry, I'm messing hey, up. This is anger management. Oh my goodness, my aim sucks. Hi, oh, no, no, sorry. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, move those out of your way. Okay. Now you need to move back. There you go. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sorry, that's a small one. <laughs> I'm getting scared. I'm sorry. Huh. Okay, pull that aside and get you a new one. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm gonna leave it to the pros from here on out. Can I just, are you sure? Oh, yeah. Ow! <laughs> yeah. All right, we're on to the second dirty job of the day. <laughs> this is Steve Kai, he's our other distiller. Uh-huh. And our other product that we make is made from jalapeno peppers instead of cactus. So he will chop up by hand 100 pounds of jalapenos at a time. By hand. By hand, as you see right there, that's as automated as we get. This is a very unique process. Wow. Again, all Texas. Yeah, Steve, uh, are you crying over there? Oh, no. <laughs> Sometimes you get a little cough, a sneeze here and there, but it's really not that bad. Oh um, my goodness. Just dump them in. We get uh, four buckets of this. It's pretty close to a little over 90 pounds. And put that in. The reason you don't get the spicy heat in the drink is because I inhale most of it. <laughs> <laughs> Two, one. Uh. Uh. Whoever gets to enjoy that one, uh, made with love. And once all the ingredients were ready, it was time to make some spirits. He takes that 100 pounds of jalapenos and throws it in here. And we add sugar and yeast and a couple of secret ingredients. Wow. And it makes alcohol. So how long do you, these guys stay in here? It, it averages 18 to 20, 21 days. Very natural, very simple process. Again, it's not like they do it in Kentucky or yeah. Tennessee or, or anywhere else. It's all Texas. Wonderful. And we'll bring it right around here and it goes straight into the still. So what we have cooking today is a batch of the cactus. Okay. So after the 20 days, it goes in there. You know, most uh, vodkas are distilled seven, eight, nine times to make them smooth. Yeah. We do it in a single run. You wow. just gotta come over here <laughs> once in a while and taste a little bit. Awesome, that's when you know it's good. Not a bad good. job. Woo -hoo. 
That'll wake you up. <laughs> Woo! I think it's ready. Right in the sweet spot of the hearts right now. All right, now that you've seen how we make it, let's go in and try some of the good stuff that comes out of these barrels. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> so this is our uh, tasting room and our bar where Wonderful. everybody gets to enjoy the product. You saw how we make it. Now, you really get to taste the good Texas stuff now. Oh, yeah. And I promise you, this is going to be different than anything you've ever had. So which ones do you offer? Well, which all of these products are products that we manufacture right here. So we start off with our signature product. This is, you saw us chopping up the cactus. You yep. saw us making it. Yep. And here's the end product. But it's a great, it's a great flavor. Uh, we just give you a little taste. If you smell it, you get a little smell of tequila, but you don't get the harshness of tequila. I was gonna say, yeah, I got like a tequila taste to that. Yes. Now this is our jalapeno. Okay. The jalapeno, you saw us chopping it. Um, again, it's kind of like a vodka, but it's flavored. It has the aroma and flavor of jalapeno. Oh yeah, has that, ooh, that nice little kick to the, yeah. uh, the jalapeno kick to it. So next we have a very unique product. This is called Texas Revenge. Our customers have nicknamed it Sipping Gin. Ooh, yes, the floral taste to that. Now we're gonna finish with our uh, last one, and that's our coffee, okay. they'll say. This okay. is gonna taste just like a great cup of coffee. Okay. Where's the alcohol in that? It's in it. Now, you want to try a complete cocktail? We can step over to the bar. Let's do it. Well, thank you so much for your hospitality. Thank this you. has been a fun trip out to Comfort, Texas. Um, I can't wait to come back and uh, really enjoy myself, if you know what I mean, without the cameras here. So, there you uh, go. cheers. There you go. <laughs> cheers, y'all. Want to visit Hill Country Distillers for yourself? Well, visit hillcountrytxdistillers.com for more information.